Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. Today we are going to do the Chaos Dragon a Guardian once more, one more time. This time with um, Chaos Armor. So let's have a look at that first of all. So what I've got here, let's have a look at this, press E, I need to press E, and have a look at the Chao Chaotic Staff of Power. It has got um, an attack damage of 1017. That's reasonable I think, an attack speed of 13. So it should be an effective weapon. The, the chaotic bow is also pretty effective with an attack damage of 706 and uh, an operating cost of nearly 750,000 OP per shot, which is a lot. So for that, we actually do need some more stuff. So let's go and have a look at this. In order to get that working, we need to have a look at... Uh, mm, this is the stuff of power here. You see, I've upgraded all of the damage modules uh, to chaotic tier. I've upgraded all of the um, speeds to also to chaotic, and I've got a chaotic area of effect module, which does an 11 by 11 damage area for in terms of attacking. So it's very effective, as you can see. I've also upgraded the um, capacitor, and I've got this one not so full, but it's reasonable. I've got one chaotic energy module. Um, I think that's reasonably not too bad. I don't know what they are. So look, I've forgotten to be honest with you. So the key, this one will be this chaotic module here. So it's not too bad actually. It's just small chaos fragments. The ones that are really expensive are these these chaotic shields because they require uh, one chaos god. So that in fact is five large shards plus two large shards so that's seven large shards per um per shield so they're pretty expensive in fact in fact they are the killer i think in terms of um going out and getting protection we'll have a look at that in a second because i've got a few so that's this one the uh chest piece is this one i've actually hasn't it's not full as you can see but i've got quite a few of these shield recovery modules um speed i haven't bothered with too much flight i've put the flight in because i've got space for it because these things are really just these are just crazy expensive and i've also got a, a shield controller so the shield this, everything's just better basically so let's have a look at the stuff i've already had a look and the, the bow is also full of um projectile damage modules velocity modules speed upgrades you can have eight of each of these by the way and i've got a couple of of these which means i haven't actually got any um inaccuracy modules because it doesn't have any inaccuracy it's it's 100 percent accurate and we've also got a penetration module very effective i also got a trinket as well so look at this one an interesting trinket this one took ages to find uh, a treasure bag uh treasure ring that was basically drops bosses drops dun dungeon loot so let's go and have a look at that actually we can have a quick look at that because i all i need to do is create is do a wither and we get some really strange stuff from withers uh, actually that's the wrong way i've got this i've got one of these set up now to go straight there this is where the wither bit is so let's just i have got i think i've got it anyway it's the wrong side probably need some skulls or something and oh yes I need four, we need four of these to put four of these in here like this it's actually my Oh, that's interesting. It disappeared off somewhere. Oh, yes, because I didn't have any more. So I've just press the button here. I've got the sword in my hand. As soon as he forms... Oh, let's just put this into the offhand, of course. F. Come back here. I need this in the offhand. One shot. And what did he drop? <laughs> let's have a look. So we got some... <laughs> an iron chest plate. Protection 3. 8 gold. Uh, six iron so, and one nether stuff. Of course, we got nether stuff. So that's the extra stuff you get. You get some interesting extra stuff, by the way, with that one. So I'm going to leave that in there. And of course, I've got some Imperium apples from one rewarder. Oh, I've got an iron sword as well. We could put all that stuff away. Let's do that because we don't need any of this. Where there's when we go off to the. There we go. That should be enough. Oh, and I need to get this one active. Of course, we'll turn this one as well on. So that's number four, control and V. I've got mine set up to V, so that's activated. So let's just now go off and uh, attack the Chaos Guardian. Oh, of course, I can never do that with that. 
with the magnet you can't right click anything by the way so the chaos guardian i have got number four is over here i think actually number five isn't it let's right click this so i've built a little platform here uh and here i've got an ender chest with some bits and pieces in it i'll probably put some more stuff away i don't probably don't need the angel block and i probably don't need the epic backpack but we'll keep the ender patch because you never know so that's it let's just go and form him up he's over here somewhere 190 blocks away when i first did this i did it in a really hard way to actually do this if i just did if i just added a, a marker and put in here the actual coordinates it would have been a lot easier than i did last time so he hasn't formed so we just come to the middle wait a few seconds and let him let him get ready and build the items out of here as you can see i shouldn't need to teleport back home but we will definitely need to teleport around a bit especially when he does his thing and the reason i'm here like this is because let's wait for him a second if he ever does his laser stuff you're right behind the, the chaos guardian so that's why the marker really does help so now we don't need to do any um are you ready yes we can shoot these things that any problem whatsoever now i do need to jump out of the way but now i've run out of power a bit you may notice that my power's probably gone down a bit He's very cross with me at the moment, just get out of his way a bit. How's my health doing? It's fine, that's good. So we've got three to go. Uh-oh. Alright, so it's it's fireball time or wither time. I'm not sure which one it's going to be. Guardian withers. Oops. Let's press the second second. I've just got something window just popped up in front of me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh yes, it's guardian wither time. Where are they? Now we should be able to kill. Can we kill these off guys off? Oh yes we can. I wasn't sure whether we could. Two more to go. Where are they? Right, so now he's going to do his that cut out of his way. He's going to do the outside of the base. Now he's going to do the inside of the base. Let's get out of the way a bit. So now it's going to be random, so we, just, we have to jump, just keep jumping up. Actually, jumping up seems to be the best way to do this. So now all I've got to do is find the other three, which are over here. Get out of his way. Now they're all gone, so we can now start shooting him. I'll find out where he is. As you can hear the noise. Right, what's he going to do this time? Alright, this is laser, so I need to go to the right here. Oops. Quickly go back home because I messed that up a bit. <laughs> Didn't get into the right position. Now, the advantage of doing what I've just done is with our set up the base which i haven't actually shown yet it were here so he, he should still be in range but if we come over here we will now be in the center of his laser so he should be using his laser on it oh he isn't okay where's he gone to can't see the guardian oh there he is All right, okay, it's either wither or it's fireball time. I'm not sure which yet. Ah, it's wither time again. Right, it's time to go to the middle of the base. 
You might notice I've got a lot of loot, I just realised. <laughs> so now we need to go to the outside. Am I near the outside? I'm a bit lost. So now it's firing all over the place time, so we'll just keep our... As you may have noticed, we've got plenty of fuel here. Okay, so that's the end of that one. So we should... Now it's fine. Okay, what have we got this time? Oh, with the with Guardian. <laughs> Guardian with us again. Not talking very much at the moment, sorry about that. Just just flicking my way around. You can see how far much faster he goes. He gets killed this time. Okay, what have we got this time? Fireballs, I think. Muppets. It's not the easiest of bases, this one. Oh no, it's with this, with the guardians again. Ah. Oh. They've gone right back to the middle of the base. Well, this loot here. I need more my jackpack. I didn't know why I didn't do that before, to be honest with you. Where's he gone to? So again, it's the same thing. They're very frequent at the moment. With this... Seeing them actually is hard to see them. They usually end up on top of you. Okay, they've done right. Maybe not. Right, it's a random one. Sorry about this. Got to keep doing this until they get until they get to him.
Here we go again. Guardian Wizards again. God. I'm quite impressed with the, the bow. <laughs> I've not even used the, the stuff of power yet. A bit more to go, this will be above my head. Where am I? Okay, I'm a bit lost. Right over here. So he's doing the inside bit now. Okay, health was very low by the time it finished, but <laughs> now what I've got to do while I'm here? I've got so much loot, ridiculous. Let's get rid of it all. Um, yeah. In fact, have I got my activated? I haven't got this activated either. So let's just fly over here and get some of the, the loot while we're here. And the XP, of course. 124 XP is ridiculous. So that's it. It's done. Let's just go down and get the crystals. Um, now I can use that. Turn the jetpack off, it help, doesn't help very much, sorry about that. As you can see, this is very fast these days. Right, one crystal shard. I don't need any of this obsidian, let's just break this crystal shard. You've got ten of those, that's fantastic. Right, that's it. I shall see you back at base. So, I'm at, back at base. A little bit stressful. Just um, out of, for the sake of argument, let's have a look at, well, actually, for your information, let's have a look at um, crafting one of these and see how much it actually requires. So, we have everything we need. We need um, 369 draconic cores <laughs> to craft five of these shields. We need 95 um, myven cores, 20 draconic, core, uh, draconic cores, and they're pretty good, expensive. And these ones uh, are the chaos. Chaotic cores, and they're pretty expensive too. And we've got awakened, we need 130 awakened. We need 36 large chaos fragments. In fact, that's, that's we've actually got, yeah, we've got enough of those. So 36 is actually nine, it's four, it's four shards. That's basically, yes, that's, that tells you here. 10 of those, <laughs> 396, 69 diamonds, uh, some netherite. And what else have we got? There's all sorts of things which are pretty good. Well, we can just start that one going, and then I shall leave that going. In fact, that will actually produce... I don't need it anymore, to be honest with you. We've done the Chaos Dragon without anything, and you'll see all the stuff is coming in here. So we need to make... Um, we need, we've got 80 Wyvern cores, which will make 16 Draconic cores. I think that's what we're after. No, we must be making 20, sorry. That's the obvious thing. Anyway... Before I, I finish this now, so what I'm going to do before, before we go is quickly have a go and, and look at the reactor. So let's go and do that. The reactor is actually the first one of these. Now I boosted this up. Actually, let's have a look at this. It's now set here to this limit of 800,000. We're using 740,000 of it. And let me actually have a look at the stats in the reactor. You'll see that the temperature is actually not bad, 3,500. Remember, this temperature can go up to 8,000 and still operate. So we're looking at an output of at least twice this. Um, that would probably be 7,000. If we do, if we, if it goes up linearly, that is, it might not do, of course. And the containment fill is 55%, pretty good. So in in effect, we're actually doing a net seven, well, 600,000, isn't it? I'll have a look. In fact, to go look over here, it's the easiest place to look. To have a look at the network connections. So I've put the three three power pots on here. So they're taking um I actually did work this out. Seven hundred and fifty thousand. So they're actually using seven hundred and fifty thousand. The reactor's actually producing that much and then eighty-eight thousand is going in. Have I got that right? 
and that must be 650,000 sorry so we've got plenty of capacity to up uh, to put more of these you can see here I've got one part with this is awakened draconium this is where this nether stars um, and this is a uh, draconium producing mark four so we're getting lots of stuff coming in all the time so there we are so that's it for this episode it's always stressful fighting the uh, chaos guardian anyway next time we should be doing some mechanisms so until then i wish you all the best bye for now